This is Crypto Bit Law, here with another blockchain legal brief. And today, we're going to discuss how a crypto 401k provider recently filed a lawsuit against the Labor Department. But before we dive in, please, if you like this content, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And with that said, let's jump right on in. Okay, so as we could see here, Decrypt reports that crypto 401k provider For Us All sues U.S. Department of Labor. For Us All is suing the Department of Labor after the regulator discouraged retirement planners from turning to crypto. They say, For Us All, a 401k provider with over $1.7 billion in assets under management, AUM, has sued the U.S. Labor Department, the DOL, for planning an investigation into companies offering crypto investment options to 401k holders. The San Francisco-based firm indicated that the regulators also discouraged employers from turning to cryptocurrencies for their retirement planning. Quote, this lawsuit seeks to preserve the rights of American investors to choose how to invest money in their own retirement accounts, reads the lawsuit. Brought under the APA, or the Administrative Procedure Act, this lawsuit challenges the Department of Labor's arbitrary and capricious attempt to restrict the use of cryptocurrency in defined contribution retirement plans. In a separate release from For Us All, the firm said that the federal agency should instead focus on its rulemaking process before issuing such guidance publicly. Quote, the DOL plays several important roles that serve American workers, but armchair financial advisor shouldn't be one of them, said the CEO of For Us All, Jeff Schult. For Us All first partnered with Coinbase back in June 2021 offering up to 5% of 401k savings in 50 different cryptocurrencies. The startup now serves more than 80,000 retirement savers across 500 plans. Fidelity has also joined the trend, allowing its clients to diversify their retirement savings with Bitcoin for up to 20%. As crypto and retirement plans continue to spring up, the Department of Labor was recently joined by various politicians, notably Elizabeth Warren in urging caution and pushing back against the trend. Department of Labor's Crypto Retirement Guidance The Department of Labor first issued its guidance against incorporating crypto in 401k plans in March 2022. The guidance cautioned about the risks of adding crypto to retirement investment schemes, citing fraud, theft, and lack of regulation for these assets. Other issues outlined were the volatile nature of cryptocurrencies, difficulties in bookkeeping, valuation concerns, and economic impacts. It went on to add that an investigation would be carried out, which looked into companies offering 401k accounts with crypto exposure. Based on these and other concerns, EBSA, or Employee Benefits Security Administration, expects to conduct an investigative program aimed at plans that offer participant investments in cryptocurrencies and related products, read the guidance at that time. The Department of Labor isn't banning cryptocurrency in 401ks outright, though, reminded Ali Kawar, acting assistant secretary for the department's EBSA unit, in an interview with the Wall Street Journal last month. Quote, I don't view this guidance as a forever and ever thing, Kawar said. It's focused on this stage of development. Now, on a related note, we could see this crypto briefing article here um, entitled U.S. House Introduces Bill to Allow Bitcoin in 401ks. It says the bill's outcome has implications for fidelity and Bitcoin retirement funds. And the key takeaways are Representative Byron Donalds introduced a bill that aims to ensure that Americans can include Bitcoin in their 401k plan. The bill is the House Companion to the Financial Freedom Act, a bill introduced by the Senate earlier this month. Whether the bill succeeds or fails could affect Fidelity, which is allowing users to include Bitcoin in their 401ks. So I think it's interesting. We have this uh, dichotomy between Congress actively trying to uh, regulate and pass laws governing the inclusion and per permitting, and essentially, um, the inclusion of cryptocurrencies and digital assets into retirement accounts, which I think is the right move. I mean, who is the government to tell you how to save your money and what you can put your money in in terms of saving it in terms of like actual legitimate legal assets but um I, you know what really struck me was the fact that we have this administrative agency the department of labor 
overstepping its bounds yet again, kind of like the SEC has recently done and the CFTC. And as noted in the article, they're being sued under the Administrative Procedures Act. And so it's a lot of big government pretty much overplaying its hand and becoming this large monstrosity of an administrative state. And if you recall one of our earlier videos about how the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit recently um, pretty much chided um, the administrative state, I think it was the SEC in that case, for, for overplaying their hand in terms of um, the enforcement that they were engaging again, engaging again, engaging in against an individual who actually sued them and won the case and took it to the appeals court. Um, if you'd like more information about that case, it's going to be linked down in the uh, description below. But all in all, I think that this is a good thing that people are finally starting to push back against big government and uh, the administrative state and that we actually have uh, lawmakers seeking to address some of these issues and ultimately permit um, everyday citizens uh, to have the ability to save digital assets and cryptos in their 401ks. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And with that said, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.